ready. Daddy. 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 She's awake. Detective, sir, has been a report of rape. Okay, sir. And I want you to take up this case. Yes, sir. Take Detective Sam with you. And give it your best. Yes, sir. The victim is at Mercy Hospital. Yes, sir. And you have to report directly to me. Okay, sir. Because I am very much interested in this case. Okay, sir. I don't want any loopholes. No problem, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You may now leave. Thank you, sir. Dismiss. I'm Detective Darito. And this is my colleague, Detective Sam. I believe you are the doctor who called and reported about the rape case. Correct. I am Dr. Ani Uwa. I had to make a quick report because of how serious it is. And thank you for your quick response. It's okay. Um, this girl, how is she? And how old is she? She is 16 years of age. Wow. But for your first question, she is really bad. Thank God for the good Samaritan who brought her here because she was almost unconscious when they got here. Really? Mm. That would be a hard pill for her parents to swallow. Seriously? Did the Samaritan tell you where he picked her from? The man hasn't really said much since he got here. Okay. He just waited for the family to be located. But the good thing is that I know her parents. Really? Because I happen to be the family doctor. Wow. Um, I decided not to call them until I'm done talking with you people. That's, 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 that's nice. Um, can we by any chance have a word with the patient? Of course you can. Uh, but please, do not stress her. She's still not strong. I understand. Doctor. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am Detective Darigo, and this is my colleague. Detective Sam. Yes, um, we are here to ask you some few questions. Okay, um, please, I want you to see us as your friend. Okay? Oh, pardon me. Um, what is your name? Blessing. Oh, Blessing. That's good. What a beautiful name. Um, blessing, can you... Can you tell us what happened? Do you did this to you? Blessing? What, what, what is it? Excuse me. Are you okay? Are, are you feeling pain? You are, see, if you're not in the mood, I will tell them to come back some other time. Um, sir, please, can you come back some other time? I think that incident is still fresh in her head. That wouldn't be a problem, Doctor. Um, no problem. 
Oh, blessing. It was nice meeting you. I hope to visit some other time and we'll talk much better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, please, these officers will want to ask you some questions, if you don't mind. Um, officers, the man that brought her here. Thank you very much, Doctor. We'll take it from here. No problem. Let me go back to my patients. No problem. Um, please, I would have to record this, if you don't mind. Okay? All right. Um, can you tell me at what time did you see the victim? Well, it was around 10 p.m. That was the time I closed from work. Okay. How come it is the same time you leave from work you saw the victim? Do you walk around there? I'm not really. I closed work by 10 p.m. I entered bike from office to my house. It was when I was on the bike, I saw a figure of a woman lying down helpless on the road. So I pleaded the bike man to help me take her to the hospital. So this is the closest hospital we could find ourselves. Wow. You are a real such a good Samaritan. And this bike man, did he leave after he dropped you? Yes, because he has to get back to work. Does it mean you live close to the scene of the incident? Um, not really. My house is a bit farther from here. I see. And, and can you remember the, the actual location where you picked up? Yes, I can. Good. Because you would have to direct my colleague and I to that location. No problem. We don't have any code. Good. good. If we need further for the rest of you for the information, can you call me? Yes, of course, detective. Anytime, any day you need my assistant, I will be of Nabi, na? I'm Detective Darigo. I'm Detective Sam. Uh -huh. Is that why you people are hitting my gate? We are here to see your boss. Please go inside and tell him that we have good news for you. Okay. Oh, well, now they are to see my boss. Mm -hmm. I go take no say you people na real police people. My friend, go and call your boss. Hey, no, they open eye for me. Who do they open eye for? See, I be the officer where they in charge of this household. So if you if, if you do anyhow here, yeah, you go see anyhow, I get dogs inside this place. So. so Mr. Man, talk to me. You say make I please, we want to see your boss. You want to see my boss? Yes. Good yeah. let me go and ask my boss if he die around. Hmm? If he die around, you people go come inside. If you know they are not go. This guy don't have respect. Come on. Take it easy. Madam. Yes, Olo, what is it? See, there are two people at the gate. They say they want to see Oga. Two people at the gate? You didn't bother to ask them their names? Yes, they said they, they, they are detectives. Detectives? Yes. So where are they? They are still at the gate. And you left them? My friend, run to the gate and get them! Oh, Quickly! Honey? Honey?
This Oga self through the track. Every small thing, body go they prepare this woman. If Nami marry this woman, one day I will pour hot water for this house. Ah. Ah. This one you are talking to yourself. Has your wife left you? No, be you cause all these things, Sonny. I no tell you say make you cover me for this gate. Make I go buy 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 bitters for 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 for, for that junction. Wait, you call Levan, come 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 out. Wait wait. See you know say at the porch now, eh? I could know who, who did I have to go and do the porch. Every day now the porch for this house. No go porch, go disappear. See, no, 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 just talk to me like that now. Ah, see, see. no verse. I will make it up to you. You know, you know how to they run am now. Ah, sorry, the danger. Daddy, you know what you mean by the drink. Yeah, now no more See, no worry, no worry. You know, I'm not bitter man. Now. See, no worry, no worry. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I see you and two policemen enter here. Any news? Have you have you found my daughter? Fortunately, yes. Oh, thank goodness. We just came from the hospital and your daughter. What, 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 what happened to my daughter? Mrs. Johnson, please calm down. Don't ask us to calm down. What happened to her? Please, Mrs. Johnson, calm down. Okay. okay. What happened to my daughter? The thing is that she was found yesterday at the roadside. Oh my God. And she was badly injured. Oh my God. She alive? Your daughter is still alive, but but what? I'm afraid your daughter was a victim of rape. Ah! Rape! Please, which hospital? I need to be with my daughter right now. What? Oh, Mr. Johnson, please. Please tell me the hospital. Please, Mr. Johnson. No one is allowed to leave this house. Because this case has gotten to the state's headquarter. We are here for questioning, please. You stupid. No, sir. I need to be with my daughter. That's what I said! What questioning please, are you talking about? Mr. Johnson, please. You can't. You just have to do it calmly for your own best interest or will apply force. Either way, it's the choice is yours. Please, you don't have to do that. No, just come back. As of now, Mr. Johnson, all the men in this house are all prime suspects. What nonsense are you talking about? The young man here is the father to the girl in question. His daughter... Our child. Why would you tag him a prime suspect? Mrs. Johnson, the information we have Either you or Mr. Johnson are her biological parents. So I would suggest the sooner we have everybody here in this sitting room, the better for us, because we would have a long day. <laughs> Just take it easy, madam. How do you expect me to be calm? How? Big Doctor. Sir. Hope you're giving the great man strict instruction that no one should leave this compound. Yes, I gave them strict warning or they bear the consequences. Thank you very much. Mrs. Johnson? Let's, let's, let's do something. We just needed to question you. I know this is hard for you. That's why I wanted you to go first. So that you will have time to process all this. <sighs> Officer, I am devastated. Why would anyone want to do, do that to a child? Why my daughter? Why her? Please, mother. Take this easy. Put yourself together. Please. Like I said before, we, we, we need to ask you some few questions. C can you tell us more about your daughter? Like her friends? Her school? Anything that would help this investigation? Okay. Um... 
Blessing has always been a good girl. So it's easy for everyone to to love her. I mean, about her friends, I, I wouldn't know because I haven't ever seen her with any. I don't think she has friends. She keeps to herself all the time. What of male friends? I don't think she has male friends. You don't think or you don't know? You just heard me say she's a good girl. If she has a male friend or male friends, I would be in the know. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, uh, what we are asking here is, even in her school, have you seen her with any boy? Well, I wouldn't know. I, um, I've never picked her up from school. Her father or the driver does. Okay. Okay. Um, can you tell us your relationship with your daughter? We, we have been best of friends. We are very, very close. Mrs. Johnson, it's quite obvious that you don't understand my question. Let me rephrase. I mean, what is your relationship with her knowing fully well that you are not her biological mother? She is my daughter. Really? Yes, really. There is no such thing as biological mother or biological daughter. I see. Clearly. That will be all for now. Thank you. Thank you. You're all. Sarge, call the next person. Okay. Thank you for your time, mother. Mr. Johnson. I know how difficult this is. And I also understand uh, you know how serious this whole thing is. So I will need you to come in clean. I beg your pardon. What are you insinuating? That I raped my own daughter? Adopted daughter. What we are trying to say here is that we know how difficult it is to raise another man's child. And by the way, we were told that after the adoption, you were the person who brought her home first. Where was your wife? I would like to state something very clear. A child must not be fathered by only her biological father. I legally adopted her with my wife and we went through the process together. Okay. And on that day that I brought her daughter home, she was admitted in the hospital because she had a miscarriage of her unborn child. Sorry about that. Uh, but how did she take the whole thing? You know, knowing fully well that another man's child is taking the place of her own flesh and blood. We are humans. It was difficult at first. More so, after so many years, she couldn't take in anymore. That's the reason she spent most of her time at work, just to forget about the predicament. If your wife is always at work, that means she didn't have time to take care of the baby. Yes, that's the reason we employed a maid, to take care of her. A maid? Mm -hmm. Where is this maid? Uh, she lives here, but not at home at the moment. Okay. Um, now, I want to ask you, what is your relationship with this maid? Excuse me, I don't understand. Maybe I should rephrase the question. I mean, are you having an affair with that maid? Are you here to insult me or to do your investigation or whatsoever you came here to do? Now listen, um, young man, I think your time is up. I've entertained you enough, so please do Mr. well to Johnson, leave my house. Mr. Johnson, answer the question. You must be very stupid. Leave my house. The problem is that this man has an attitude problem. So, call the next person, please.
be resolved is out. Okay. Mm. No. No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. Listen, we have to run another test. Okay? Another fast, fast, please. Another test. Yes. Officer, I swear to God, I'm innocent. I did not do anything. Onukubech. No, Onukubech in the It was my grandfather that gave me that name before he died. I so complete it, sir. <laughs> Whatever. So, where were you on the very day that Miss Blessing was declared missing? Sir, I was at the ghetto. I was at that my post from morning till night. I didn't leave the post, sir. So what you're saying is that you saw her leave the compound? No, sir. There was never a time that she left the place. But you just said you never left your post. I know exactly what I am saying. It, it was the only the time that I went to the backyard to take this small distance. That was the only time I left that place, sir. Are you sure that you did not see her leave the compound? Or you did not hear anyone open the gate to go out of the compound. Sir, look, as you are looking at me here, I'm a very good bitman with 13 good years of experience, sir. So there is no way anybody can leave this house without my approval. Even my organ and the madam. That means you are not a good bitman if you didn't know when your boss's daughter left the house. Officer, can you keep your own now? You are shouting, you are saying this thing and you are shouting. Do you want my organ to hear this thing and they sack me? Please take it easy. Honorable Sir. Tell me about your boss's daughter, Blessing. Ah, Blessing. She's a very nice uh, person. She and my yoga. My yoga love that and daughter very well. What do you mean by yoga love his daughter? Sir, you see, you know some nice. Honorable. Sir. Why don't you feel free? We are your friends. You're free to talk. Okay, sir. See, if you see the way my yoga and his daughter, the way they used to play, you will know that my yoga liked that girl very, very well. Hmm. Yes, sir. So, he likes his daughter. They go out. Exactly, sir. Does madame not go out with them each time they go out? That's, you know, go out, eh? Ah, madame. No, madame, she's not due to be at home. Very early in the morning, she has left the house. And she used to come back very, very late in the night. That woman you are looking at, she's a workaholic. Did your madame go to work yesterday? Yesterday? N no, sir. No. She was at home yesterday. I don't worry. Sir? You are free to me. Okay, sir. But, sir, see, I'm innocent. Just remember this thing. Very, very innocent. I'm good. Thank you, sir. That's for some place. With this one now. Eh? This girl no see when he go come lost. Now where they supposed to pay person salary. Now he can't carry her own while I come. I don't like this kind of thing. No, no side the way everybody for this area. Fine, where they come give me money. Now.
Sina. Dzięki za. How long have you been working here? Five years now, sir. Five years? Yes, sir. And how did you get this job? Uh, from my papa in Herita. He's been working for here. Going to Herita for now. Hmm. I see. Sonny, I was told that um, Yoga and his daughter were very close. How would you describe that? Yes, sir. My yoga and the daughter, they are very, very close, sir. Very, very close. Mm. So, what made you conclude that they are very, very close, the way you just said? So, I mean, they carry them come out, carry them come back. They are very, very close, sir. Doesn't your madam go out with them? Not be all the time, sir. Not sometimes. So, how did that conclude? that your boss and the daughter are very close. Officer, I don't answer that one why I know. I don't know that one. Sorry? Yes, sir. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Yes, sir. If you have some. Okay. I will ask you one more question. Yes, sir. Where were you yesterday? At home, sir. Doing what? I sleep by the sleep. If you are on. Were you not supposed to take her to school? Officer, it's more than they like work, I go to school. Now me and Oga, they go bring them back. You sure? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. If you are on. Sonny? Yes, sir. Sonny? Yes, sir. You're free to go. I feel good, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Sir, who do you think is guilty? Sir. It's too early for us to jump into conclusion. A lot has been said. But we still have to get to the bottom of this whole thing. That is true. But are we still going to detain them in the house? You know, it's inhuman to stop them from visiting their ill daughter at the hospital. Yeah, that's true. That's why we need to call them and tell them that they can go and visit their daughter at the hospital and the others can do whatever thing they want to do. Okay, sir. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, we are done with our questioning. So you are free to go back to your businesses. But be sure that we would come back if we discover that any of you lied to us at the cause of this questioning. Please, is it possible for us to get to the hospital to see our child? Of course, we can give you a lift if you want. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Joseph. Very much importantly, I did not see your lead around. I was told that she went out. Please, I need her to question her also. Huh. Take us to the hospital. Yes. Suit yourself. Please come. Please. Please. Her name is Blessing. Okay, yes, please. Please bless the doctor. Doctor, um, please. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I was supposed to break this news myself to you, but the detective insisted that they break the news to you themselves. I'm sorry. It's okay. Where is she? Chase. 
in there. Can, can, can we see her, please? Oh, of course you can. Obviously, she's better now because of the sedative you gave to her. But please, after seeing her, I will want to talk to you about something. Fantastic. Let's go. I'll finish up on this guy. Okay. Which? The first one by your left, please. Why are people so wicked? Why are humans so cruel? Just look at what they did to a little girl. Look at what they did to a little girl. How could they have done this to her? Just take a look at her. Take a look at her. My daughter. Listen, are you okay? She's not even answering me. She's not saying anything. Man. She's not saying anything. God will punish them. They will never go unpunished. One by one, God will punish all of them. They're going to hear it. Look at what they did. <laughs> Look at what they did. Stop asking me to calm down though. Because by the time I open thunder and bright stone on them, my God will not let them go. God will punish all of them. Ah! Sonny, no vest will say they ask you. The time when you follow them go to the hospital, how's mom and dad be? <laughs> see, from the way they take come out from that hospital there, eh, I don't see a problem. They, Hi. she know they look good at all. She know just they well. Nah, eh. The people we do this, this girl, this thing, I hear say they day up to three, four people. Me, I know here. I know. I don't see they pass one. They plenty. Hi. They could not finish this girl if it Now wow, she's still the worker. I mean the house now, huh? See, waiting I know be say, those people will do that in eh? they no go go and punish. I they tell you. Anybody will do and this thing, all of them will follow do this thing. God go punish all of them and for so, this earth. See, I tell you. Watch car, do what you want to do. Madam send me, my go do it, Madam send me. Look at what I found. Sir, mm -hmm. I think this is a breakthrough for us in this case. Not at all. This absolutely proved nothing. We still have a lot of work to be done for this. That is true. But I think we just found what we need to catch the criminal. That may be right. But on the second thought, anyone could have planted this thing. Because I believe no sane person will leave his shirt at the crime scene after committing such a crime. You have a point. But what if the person that did this is not normal? Absolutely. The person that raped that 16 years old girl is absolutely not normal. You see what, um, Sam? Let's leave this here and look around. Okay? Okay. Do you 
used to if you paid anyway. No. But what happened? I can't forget it. I understand. I want you to take all the time you need to heal, okay? And if you want to talk, that is always here. And Grandpa is always here for you too. Uh, you know, uh, that is not a problem. Oh, I'm, I'm here for you. Whenever you need Grandpa, you will see him, okay? He has other things to do too, don't forget. Yes, but you are more important to me than any other thing. So, Doctor, what's her situation? Mr. Johnson, I wouldn't lie to you. It's not going to be easy for her and for the family. Because she will always remember this experience. But all you and your wife have to do is to be there for her at all times. Please. I can't believe this is happening to my blessing. What has she done wrong? It's a crime. It's okay, sir. I pray that God will heal her. I'm sure that very soon she'll be fine. Trust me. Amen. Let me quickly get back to the wall. All right, sir. Thank you. Give me the sign for Mr. Chibi. And I will see this. This one. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending the day with her. It's nothing. Uh, after all, she's my grandchild. I know she must still be finding it difficult to believe what happened to her. <sighs> I do not understand all this. Now, why will someone in his right senses want to do this to a sweet, innocent young girl? I don't know. Humans are wicked. Only God knows what she went through in the hands of those hoodlums before she got a chance to escape. Such a woman. You know, thank God she escaped and came back to us alive. Hmm? And uh, I am happy the doctor has assured us that she has no internal injury. That's a huge relief. A big one. Hmm. Honestly, Dad, I wish I was there for her. I can't bear to see her in pain. My son, there's no point beating yourself up. You've done what every good and responsible father will do. I am proud of you. Oh, very soon, by the grace of God, she will come back to us. Hmm? Thank you so much, Dad. Now, once she comes back, no more walking to school. Anytime she's leaving this compound, you have a driver. Let the driver take her to school or wherever she is going to. Wait there for her and bring her back. Other than get security. We employ security. Can I even pick her up myself? Yes. Other than you need the security. We get security. Mm -hmm. Days are bad. Yeah? It's okay. Thank uh, you so much. We have to be proactive these days. Thank you so much. Your mother look at her. Your mother okay. Ah, officer. Nayum. Onukube. Yes. Ah, Onukube Chineke Ebenezer. <laughs> In fact, it was my grandfather that gave me that name before he died. Okay. 
Um, it's your boss again. My ogre. No, my ogre no dey inside. Uh, um, what about your mother? Mm, my madam, she dey inside, but she dey sleep. She never wake up. Okay. Um, you see, I would want to come in a little and ask you some few questions. In fact, we found something that would help us to catch this criminal. You understand? Uh, but do not worry, I am not here to arrest you. You can come inside then. <laughs> I want to ask you a question and I want you to tell me the truth. Okay. Okay. Um I want you to confirm to me if by any chance there was a time your ogre is behaving suspiciously. You mean my ogre? Yes. Ah. Officer, I never see my ogre behave anyhow, like as in the kind of suspicious move in this house. The man he heard they cool. Okay. Now, since your guy is out of the picture, what about Mr. What's this um you call it? Mr. Sonny. Ah, what about him? That one. Na big foul. Oh. As we they look and so he no get hurt. He the fear pass everybody with in this house. So forget them. You know, so if Mr. Sonny it's mm. that kind of person that does not have um, that strong will. What would you say about yourself? Uh -uh. Officer, you're not superior. I told you that I'm innocent. You can ask anybody in this who vicinity. All of them know me. They can testify that I'm a good man. Okay. Um, it's okay, Mr. Innocent. No. Onukubechineke. Ebenezer. I would have to do that. Meanwhile, it was nice talking to you. You should see this man never use uh, a put camera somewhere you're using the monitor. Me. Hey, the police are not open the arm. Hey, Oh God, I don't wake up. Go and call him where? Look, I go call him. Hmm? Uh, no, no, go, 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 come back here. You know there's something wrong with you. No, you never go far. Hey, shut up! What is wrong with you? Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. What did the detective say? The detective come to this place. He can't ask me after Oga. I tell him so Oga no day. Mm -hmm. He can't ask after you. I tell him say you didn't sleep. I never know say you don't wake up. Is that all? No. Madam, you see he has found something that he will use to catch the criminal. Um, you mean the detective said that? Something that he will use to catch the criminal. Shut up! I heard you before. Sorry, ma. Have you fed the dogs? Eh? Can you just stop being stupid for a minute? Have you fed the dogs? Yes, ma'am. I go back to your duty post.
Oh, God, welcome, sir. Why do you have to keep me outside for the past 30 minutes? Sir, you know reach 30 minutes, sir. Are you mad? Sir? So you have the effrontery to tell me that you know reach 30 minutes. So I should stay outside the gate and wait for you to open my own gate? Eh? Sir, sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Sir. Oh no. Sir. How many times did I come? You think you're still a kid, eh? You think you're still a boy? Don't get useful for yourself. <laughs> Why do you laugh like a fool, man? Eh? See, oh no. You think to see how the Shiva has already talked to you? Sure. Hmm? Me? Yes, now. Shiva. Ha. See, see what you do. I don't no count them. I don't count them. I count them. I'm four. This boy, you know, get sense. Mm. You know, get. What's in myself? I just don't hear the talk with you. I bet if you want to watch this car, don't insult me. See, it's your duty to watch the car. Peters, I'll watch it. I can't even forgive myself. I, I'm not even proud to call myself her mother. How could. Good Jesus. No, 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 you don't have to do this, okay? I shouldn't do this. I should have been there for her as a mother. Nobody knew something like this would happen, okay? So you should stop apportioning blames to yourself right now because it's late for that. Soon she will be discharged. And let's say in a few more hours I'll go back to the hospital. Yes, um, I actually bought some things to make her favorite meal. Really? I would love to see her at the hospital tomorrow before going to work. That's so thoughtful of you. She'll be happy about that. It's... Yes, um, before I forget, the detective was here today. Oh, wow. What did he say? Well, I didn't see him, uh, but Onu said he made mention of having something to, you know, catch the criminal. That's good news. My question is, what do you think he has? I mean, what evidence does he have? Well, I wouldn't know until we meet with him. Oh, that's true. You know what? You need to go in and freshen up now. You must be really tired. Yes, I am. <laughs> You're coming, right? Yes, I will join you. Okay. Yes, um, you can actually drop it at my office. I'll pick it up tomorrow morning. Rose. No, it is. Rose. Let me call you back, please. Yes, what is it? I can't find my yellow shirt. It was in the wardrobe since yesterday. Well, I don't have your yellow shirt. So, where is it? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I just said I don't have your yellow shirt. It's just you and I in this house. What are you talking about? So what? <laughs> what do you expect? For goodness sake, Johnson, I just made it clear. I don't have your shirt. Okay, who else do I ask? Well, maybe you should go in there and check. You, you should, maybe you didn't check properly. I don't have it. Okay, that's to say, my shirt, developed wings, flew away. Is that it? Huh? Johnson, you have warned me severally not to use the wardrobe in your room. I practically keep everything that belongs to me in the other room. So why would I go to your room and collect your yellow shirt? What am I going Don't to- Don't give me that, woman. What is wrong with you? Huh? Are you trying to say that I do not know what I'm doing? So why are you raising your voice at me? Why are you shouting at me? 
You should go in there and look for your shirts. Why are you shouting, Mama? You have a million and one shirts in there. To wear? Why are you particular about this one? Did I tell you I'm looking for it because I want to wear it? Is that what I said? I said, where is my shirt? That's I the question. Don't have it. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to call this one? It's from one trouble to the other. And why is he particular about this shirt? Anu. Anu. Did you by any means get into my room this morning? Sir, I don't live inside your room. Uh, yes, but you live in this house, right? Yes, sir. I'm looking for my shirt. And I've asked everyone living in this house. You are just the one left. Did you get into my room this morning to take my shirt? Sir, I have never entered into your room before. Why is name? In the bath. At this time? Why are the both of you useless? What am I paying you for? Sir, should I go and call him now? Yes, um, Detective. Good morning. Um, I, I think there's something I need to report to you. No, no, I, I can't meet you up now. I don't even want my husband to know that I'm calling you. Yes, he has gone out. Oh, so the thing is, my husband has been acting really, really funny. Funny enough, this morning, he was asking me about a shirt he wrapped. Do you know this man almost hit me because I said I didn't know where the shirt was? Detective, I'm, I'm really, really scared. I'm scared. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you very much. All right, bye. Uh, please, my husband shouldn't know I called you. Sir, are you sure you didn't see the face of the person that did this to you? No, 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 no. I... I came back. I was about opening my door. It was as if the person sneaked up on me from behind and... Boom! I, I passed out. That's bad. Do we need to go to the hospital? Uh, not at all, not at all. I do I feel a little bit dizzy, but uh, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be fine. The problem is that he he flashed my phone. I can't find anything. Everything is just like totally wiped off my phone. Wait, don't tell me he wiped all the evidence we have. <sighs> Everything is gone. Oh, so, so gone. So, what do we do now? I don't know, this is strange. Hey. It's just... Hey. And, and Mrs. Johnson called this morning and she said that her husband is looking for his shirt. And since then he has been behaving strange. 
And even herself, she's even scared for her life. I don't know. So, are you trying to say... Yes, exactly. If you look at it this way, I think the attack on my life may be connected to all this. I wanted to rest initially. Well, let me go to the hospital. I think the victim would be sound enough to talk to us because right now, boy, we are blank. It's okay. Let's go. Your boss inside. What of madam? Anything. <laughs> you think you are smart? Well, if you must know, we are about to catch the criminal in this house. Uh, how it takes concern me? <laughs> Unfortunately, it concerns you. After the hit and run attack on detective, he's about to nail the criminal. Mr. Johnson is so lucky that he's not around. I would have been the first person to arrest him after trying to tamper with our investigation. Wait, wait, let me understand with you the talk. You mean say you won't go arrest my own organ? <laughs> yes, of course. Not only that, we are still within shirts we got from the crime scene with stains of blood on it. <laughs> he cannot get away with this. Just make sure you deliver my message to him. And if I don't deliver, <laughs> no problem. We will see. Ah, okay. See, threatening you. You are threatening me. No, my yoga cannot do that. I don't see why you get us in these few days, but to do this kind of thing, why they take Wait, though. You should say no with this clue to work that they find the other day. Ah. Make this thing no be waiting at the thing, oh. Again, 
You have eaten the food that I'm supposed to eat, this dog. Now you started back in again. Otolo Babo! Akwiri, Akwiri! Akwiri is going to be for Siri. They can move out to make them more. Sir, where have you been? You just disappeared after we took the victim's statement. So I've been very hungry, so I went to eat something. But I think they have uh, canteens around the hospital that sell good food. <laughs> that one, not food. I need better oven salad, and I have one customer in my area. That is, by the way. You see, you remember why taking that uh, victim's statement? She may mention that uh, she could recognize the kidnapper's voice. Yes, yes, I remember. So I was thinking maybe we should recheck at the crime scene. Maybe there is something we are missing. Sir, do you believe we will still find something there? You see, no hope is lost. Let's just go. Okay. If you say so. Why don't we just spray our search around this crime scene? Because I feel the criminal may have dropped something at the process of running out of this site. But sir, I think we have found the criminal. I mean, we found Mr. Johnson's clothes here. I think we should just go and make an arrest. Listen, listen. I understand what you're talking about, but that is not enough proof to make an arrest. Look at it this way. Somebody may have planted that at the crime scene. Planted? Who would do such a thing? Listen, Sam. You will be surprised at the level people would go to do some despicable things just to hurt others. I don't think we will find any other thing here. I mean, we saw Mr. Johnson's clothes here. The evidence is as clear as day and night. I believe this is one of those cases we get really so quick. Everyone in the house says he's too close to his daughter. A girl that is not even his biological daughter. You're actually making a point. I think we should go and make an arrest immediately. Let's go. Let's yes, go. sir. Let's go. Let's go. Officers, what are you doing outside? Come on, come on, let's go inside. Mr. Johnson, we are not here for pleasantries. You're under arrest for the kidnap of your daughter and the free. Please, let's go. Is this some sort of joke or what? What are you talking about? Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you hear him? Where's my own daughter? You already have evidence of your involvement and the statement we got from your wife. What nonsense are you talking about? What evidence? What statement? Um, I... I had to put a call across to them today. 
I mean, you were acting funny all morning. You didn't expect me to keep quiet. I was only trying to help in the investigation so that the person who did this to my daughter can be caught. And so I'm the person. You thought so? What's wrong with you? Don't you know how much I love our daughter? Don't you? Mr. Johnson, for your own best interest, I would suggest you move with us or I would apply force. Arrest him. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. You want me to go to your office with you? Move this man! You have absolutely nothing to worry Can I go with my driver? No, 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 please. I'll come back. Mr. Johnson. Why don't you make this thing easy for every one of us? Tell me the truth. Confess your crime. Well, I'm not going to say a word until my lawyer comes. See what, Mr. Johnson? You are the boss in your own house. I'm the boss here. But I promise you, if I find out that you have a hand in what happened to Miss Blessing, I will break your bones finger by finger. And I will bury you alive. Detective. Your threats don't scare me. I am innocent. I cannot rape my daughter. And I will never do anything like that. How do you sleep at night? After all the atrocities that you have done to a girl who called you father. You are really, you are really, you are really, 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 really a bad man. Don't worry. You would tell me everything I need to know. What nonsense are they talking about? How can they even think such a thing? You can imagine suspecting me of trying to kill my own daughter. Are they mad? How can they conceive such a stupid thought? Eh? Were they there when you raised and nurtured her to this age? Maybe because I'm not a biological father. They, they, they must be mad. Don't worry, all this will soon end. I've called your lawyer. He should be here by now. Hmm? Let me go and check if he's already here. By the time we're done dealing with these people, if they hear our family name, Osaba Hub, I'm coming. Sonny, you go borrow me 400 naira, I can use and go buy at home. When they pay me, I will come give you. Go, it's already me. Have you heard the letters? Hey! Have you heard the letters? This girl can, he can gossip for Africa. We think carry you come on for that place. Come where men they talk now. Oh, oh, what did I do now? Just because I say let me come and give you a couple update on what is happening in this house. You are insulting me. Eh, uh, you don't do. You don't do. No verse, no mind on. 
Tell us, what will be the latest? Or get on the prison? Ha! Not only that too. I overheard Madame speaking with the detective that Oga is not going to come out of this one room. Yeah. Madam, Madam even said that that Oga may be spending life in prison if found guilty. Madam, you can see. Oh, but wait, ma'am, I ask her. Eh? Why Oga go run this kind of thing now? It don't pass her. Hey. I don't they think I'm for this compound. Because the way we that man take the train, come himself with that girl. I know seen that this kind of thing in the plan scenes. Imagine. Ha! Imagine a small girl at that. Imagine. Hmm. How men has come? Eh? How men are what? Which kind of talk is that one? So how men has come. As you look when you finish, I resemble scum for your eye. Hey, I didn't mean it like that. Ah, your blood today hot. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, better be. Uh, but wait, uh, may I ask you? Mm. If these people can rent one room for Kirikiri for Oga now, what will happen for our work now? <laughs> Me, that this is my only source of livelihood. You see why the talk say you people no get plan. You're supposed to the plan ahead. As you did see me so, eh? You know when plans on how to leave this country. Ah, leave this country, okay? With which money now? How much did they pay you for here? Oh! It is say me are you there here? You know say very soon now. If these people carry Oga go prison, Eh? The government people, they go come seize this house. But before they go come for this house, me will be get man. I go don't go inside. Carry the paper for this house. Sell them. Use the money. Travel. Chicken. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this one. Wait, oh. This thing dangerous to your life. Even your life, self. You don't know. Oh, no, no, Sepia. What do you people want to make me do? Okay, you people who want make we just leave this place. Make government come seize this house. He go come there useless. Me and you, we go work out the loo for another work out. Lie I will sell her. In fact, I didn't hear this one, no. Before they will sell your complaints. See, if you try this thing and they catch you, now you and Oga, they go rent one room for Kirikirio. You don't know? You too, they. My problem with you, be say, you too, they fear. In fact, I didn't hear anything, no. See, if they catch you, eh? now you and Oga, they go rent room for Kiriki. I know they will. What, eh? what am I doing with you? I beg, I don't think. I don't come on. I beg, help me wash that car. I beg. I beg, you. What is this guy? I thought I made it clear there shouldn't be any mistakes in this case. I'm sorry, you did, and we are doing everything to make sure that we wrap up this case, sir. What is this I hear about you losing an important evidence to this case? Uh, sir, that's... Sir, I am to be blamed for that. I I was a little bit careless, so I lost the evidence. Sir. That is incompetence! I'm sorry, sir. And to top it off, you arrested a man without evidence. If not for his lawyer ranting in my ears this morning, I believe none of you would have told me. Sir, I am sorry, sir. Dictative! Sir. You are my best agent. And that was why I put you on this job. Don't make me regret it. I won't, sir. Where was your colleague when you were attacked? Sir, he said that he went to eat, sir. He went to eat, sir.
Yeah? What is it? Please, call blessing for me. I have a message for her. Eh? I said call blessing for me. I have a message for her. Oh no! Madam. Olga. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. Are you always sorry about what? Who was that person at the gate? Oh, at the gate. It's nobody, man. What did I hear you say? I said it's nobody, man. Come closer. I said come closer. Yes. Do I look blind to you? No, ma'am. Good. I obviously saw you at the gate talking to somebody. You opened the gate. And then I'm asking you who was at the gate. You're telling me nobody. Are you mad? Not yet, ma'am. See, it's all these rats that used to run around this place. See, ma, one wanted to enter from under this, this distance. So I had to go and open that distance and chase it away, ma. You opened the big gate for a small rat to run outside. Sonny. Where is Sonny? Sonny? I am. Sonny, they're just an idiot. Go look for me. Tell him I want to go out. Okay. Sonny? I'll hit you with this thing. Sonny? Sonny? Is this Sonny? one supposed to be a punishment for all the sins I've committed? Huh? Ha! Justin, you are here? Yes. I, I heard what happened and came to see you. So tell me, how do you know where I am? It was Onu, the gate man. I asked him yesterday and he told me. Onu? Yes, he did. And I am very sorry that this happened to you. I'm really sorry. Thank you. So tell me, do you by any chance know who did this to you? No. Do you suspect anyone? Justin, let's not talk about this. Sorry, just that I am. Justin. Fine. It's okay. So tell me, what's inside that smile? Oh, this is just a little gift from me to you. Came with food? Yes. Let me drink this. You made the food yourself? No, I bought it. I thought as much, but I know you cannot cook. So how do you feel? I'm, I'm getting better at least. Innocent. How can they just arrest an innocent young man like you? Eh? I was ready to come to that place to come and fight for you. Thank God we are back already, sir. Have you lost it? No, sir. Are you still with your senses? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. So don't be stupid. Thank you, sir. Where's your madam? Madam is inside. And Sonny? Ah. That one traveled to the village. Oh. With whose permission? Ah, Madame gave, her the, gave him the permission to travel. Hey, but Oga, I knew you were innocent. I knew it. Eh? Who's an innocent young man like you? They just want to... Hey! So this man let her come back. So my plan of selling this house no work. Hi, hey, Ego man. Nah. I've told you all I know. Now, can you let me be? You know that is not possible, Miss. It's not possible. You need to help us here. You need to give us something to work with. Stress yourself a little and think about what happened that day. You could, can you remember anything 
something to identify that man with or that person with. Maybe the cloth, the bango, anything that would help us. I can't recall. I can't remember what I saw that day. Now listen. I know we are stressing you. But you're trying. We still need you to give us something to work with. Help us out. Think hard. Or would you want to so ever that did this? Just try. Give us something. Give up. Detective, why don't you just sit there? Why are you stay calm? Okay? It's okay. So, Miss Blessing, what's it gonna be? Who brought the nylon for you? Oh. My friend, Justin. Justin? Who is Justin? My schoolmate. Your schoolmate? That sounds interesting. So tell me more about Justin. How was school today? Fine. Alright, uh, there is something I wanted to tell you the other day. What's that? Are you saying you didn't notice that I like you? Tell me the truth. Does that have anything to do with... Yes, wait. It has. Because... I could remember asking you to be my girlfriend. How will I be your girlfriend? You want my mother to kill me. Why will she? Then we will not tell her. Hey, hey, you don't need to tell my mother. She will find out herself. Hmm. Okay, if you say so. But I would really like us to remain friends forever. And we will keep on being friends. My dad is here. See where we go, Yes, my love. Have I not told you not to leave the school premises until I come to pick you? I know, Dad. But you know I love to trek. It's alright. Who is he? Oh, he's my friend. His name is Justin. How are you, Justin? My son. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Dad, what about Justin? Let's drop him off. Ah, uh, my love, no. Not today. I have other plans, okay? Justin, we'll see you next time. All right, just in time. Why would Anu tell me that your wife is at home when she's clearly not? Exactly what I've been complaining about, Dad. I don't know why God gave me a bunch of useless people that can't do what they are employed to do. Mm. Well, um, I do not understand all this. What would drive your wife to out you like that to the police? Are you two having any problems? Oh, why? How? See, Dad. Well, Dad, I don't know. Me, myself, I am confused. Because I can't even give an account of my wife anymore. And she's been acting like she want me behind bars. Reasons I don't know. And you say you two do not have any problems? Not at all. 
Well, I would not want to jump to any conclusion, but um, her behavior is irrational, highly irrational. I cannot wait to hear her own side of the story. And she's not even here to welcome you home. People. I was even thinking that it's all these boys that used to gallivant in the afternoon. <laughs> oh no. Sure. Um, is your boss around? No. My yoga went out with the wife. Okay. Um, I want to ask you a question. See, officer, I have told you before. My hands are clean. <laughs> See, I'm a good man. I've been telling you this thing, sir. Uh, okay, listen. I am not here to arrest you. Do you by any chance know one Mr. Justin? Justin? Yeah, he's your girl's uh, daughter's friend. That useless boy. Very stupid human being you are looking at. He's very short, dark in complexion. I know him very well. Why do you call him a stupid boy? Ha! Ah! Officer, you people don't even know what I'm telling you. This boy you are looking at is a fool. He doesn't know how to strike woman. <laughs> Oh no, can you explain a little? Okay. person no go see for this compound. Now you they knock like say that you build this house for my yoga. I'm sorry sir. Um, yes, sir. I want to see blessing. Please. You want to see blessing? Put him behind him. Okay, my name is Justin. So why you want him? She's my schoolmate and I tutor her some of her school works. Blessing? You are schoolmate? Yes sir. In this kind of beer? And you they tutor her? Inside or outside the house. Anyway, when I go inside, go check whether she's there around. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. No, follow me. Go inside. Though. Sit down here. Yes, and make you no know, knock again. Yes, Too serious this man. bless him, no, see me, you are too serious. Where is she? You mean our daughter? Mba, I mean our gas maid. Ah. No, you, you, you are, use your own, spoil my own this morning. Mm, our oh, daughter, they're inside. Oh, no. Hey. Yes, what is it? Ma, I. You see, it's a um, blessing, yes. But, madam, I didn't know you were inside, though. Okay, keep shut. Shut up! Is that an answer to the question I asked you? So what exactly are you saying? Madam, it's, it's just that I missed my I... You obviously don't have anything to do here. Yes, ma'am. 
Turn around, take your stupid self out of this sitting room. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Always sorry for things that are not necessary. What did you do that you apologized? Get out, Mr. Man! What I don't know. Who says? The one that told me to come today. Wait. Did you tell her just is the one at the gate? In a chinte. I say you should start going. Come another day. Ona bo isi anya. Is that it? That is it now. You wasted our time to say this. But you were the person that asked me. Oh, oh no. Sir? Don't be offended by what my colleague just said, okay? See, sir, you, you need to ca be calming him down. This man, his blood is always so, he's always agitated. What is your problem? Be calming down, sir. It's okay. <laughs> you already have my number. Yes, sir. So in case you remember anything or you want to speak to me, call me. Okay, sir. But, sir, please, can I just get just 200 naira? Let me use it and buy a time and call you, sir. Oh no. Sir? MTN Flash is free. So, flash me. I'll call you. Sir? Just MTN Flash. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm at the station. Okay, I'm coming to your office, sir. Detective, sir. Have you wrapped up the investigation? Not yet, sir. Not yet? And what are you waiting for? The public is using this thing against us for not being efficient in our work. You are getting closer? Let me tell you something. Time waits for nobody. If this case is too much for you, you better tell me so that I can bring in another officer to take care of it. Sir, um, I promise to deliver as soon as possible. You better do. And what is this I hear about you not arresting a suspect yet? Sir, that is because we don't have uh, concrete evidence to nail him. Drago, sir, I give you 24 hours to wrap up this case. If not, I'll bring in someone else to take care of it. Sir, did Mr. Johnston say anything? Nothing. The thing is that uh, the DP will give us 24 hours to wrap up this case. You know what that means? 24 hours? Yes. That means we need to walk around the globe. Exactly. But the point is that I don't want to make any mistakes. I get your point, sir. This is actually not going on the way I anticipated. You see, I want you to bring in Mr. Justin. Because from all indication, he is the only one that we have not questioned yet. Okay, sir. I'll do that. 
and I also would want a voice recording of everyone we have questioned before. You know, probably it would help Miss Blessing to identify that voice that she said she heard. Okay, sir. Drink off. I'll see you in the station much later. Somebody just tampered with my brakes. This is strange. Mr. Justin, or whatever you call yourself, so you don't want to confess, you think this place now your papa house, Abby? By the time I'm done with you, you will be begging. Sir, I have been telling you the truth. Eh? What other truth do you want to hear? The only truth is that I have nothing to do with this, I swear. <laughs> you have nothing to do with this? Then why did you visit her in the hospital? To finish what you started? Sir, I'm, I'm innocent, sir. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. See, when my parents find out that I'm here, they won't be happy. Are you mad? Just... I want to ask you something. And I would love for you to be sincere with me. Do you think Mr. Johnson has something to do with his daughter. No, sir. I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, sir. Hmm. But their relationship is so strange. I can't explain. About what? Tell me, if I should tell you this, do you promise to tell me the truth? Nothing but the truth. Of 
course, I'll tell you the truth. What is it? Okay. Do you have anything to do with your dad? How? Yes, because you and your dad seems to be too close. And I have never seen your mom come pick you up from school. Oh, about that. Well, my mom is always busy. And I love going home with my dad. He's fun to be with. Yes, is there any problem? Well, your dad seems not to like me. Of course. He's my father. And he doesn't want any guy close to his little daughter. If you were in his shoes, you would do the same. Well, that's true. So, what are you going to Good evening, sir. What are you doing here? I came to see blessings, sir. Have I not warned you? Have I not warned you to stay away from my daughter? Sir, you can ask your daughter. Both of us like each other. Are you mad? Don't you have respect? Did you just say that to me? Now listen. If I ever see you an inch close to my daughter again, I will skin you alive. See. I'm not afraid of you, sir. Uh -uh. I don't know if you want to marry your own daughter. I wonder why you care. Really? Really? You stupid. I'm not your mate. This will be the last one. If I see you an inch close to my daughter again, you won't like me. She's your good friend. How come you never showed up at the hospital all this while that she's at the hospital? I did. Yes, I did, but for a different reason. Mm -hmm. What reason would that be? I I thought Mr. Johnson was going to pin the, the crime on me just to get back at me for not leaving his daughter. So what made you run into that conclusion? Or should I say, what made you jump into that conclusion? Nothing, but just that he never liked me. Hmm. Yes. He's a rich man and I'm a poor poor boy from a poor family. He can do anything just to get me pinned down. I see. Interesting. Yes, sir. 
Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Yes, sir. Everything I said here is, is just the truth. I can't lie to you. Mm. And you know what I would do to you if I find out that you were lying to me? I'm not lying, I swear. I'm not lying. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Hello, Doctor. How are you today? What? Oh, sorry, when did that happen? Oh, shit. Um, um, please, um, uh, don't worry, I... I'll be there shortly, okay? I'll be there, I'll be there shortly. Shit! Sir, sir, what, what is it? You you don't look happy. What I is it? I don't! The victim and a nurse were murdered last night. What? <sighs> Not that! Wait. First it was rape. Mm. Now this! No, now. No, 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 no. Sir. We can't take this. I think we should get an arrest warrant. Sam, Sam, you don't understand. You see, with these, with these, the DPU will nail me to the wall. That criminal has beaten more than he can chew. Oh. Come on, let's just go, let's go to the hospital. Let's go, let's go. What does he want? I don't know. He said we shouldn't go anywhere that they are coming to see us. <laughs> I mean, why Why would he say that we shouldn't... Okay. And he didn't tell you why they are coming to see us. Oh, come on, honey. Let them get here first, okay? Don't be worried. I'm not worried. It's just their constant visit. I mean, if there's something they need to say, I think they should just say it once and... Let us have some peace. Babe, we have a case here. I know we do, but we still need our family privacy.
What is it now? This See, one you are running like a person way lie on the pursuit. You too they fear. What is the problem? See, you don't say you normally you the fear, me I know the fear. Eh? If you see what thing, I take my eyes see. You say go fear fear. I they tell you. What do you see? As I they go, my man goes to shop, say me I go buy a car. Now I see those police people. Eh? As if you see them, their eyes they red. One even wear bulletproof. Eh? See, while a day. Now this place then they come. Now here they come. Hey. Now here, and you see, as they wear bulletproof, eh? They are ready to fight. Now go on, they want shoot. Uh, they want shoot now. You know they as they take cockery or for here. Yeah. Eh? This one pass. As they want, now shoot. If they come here, now shoot, they go start. See. Eh? Make we go hide. No, oh, I can't hide me, I beg. You are finished though. We don't finish. Bulletproof. Finish. Off, huh? See. Go and open the gate. Eh? Go open the gate. Now, now. me they open. Now motor they open. No big gate. Go open gate. Go open. It's your guy in. Yes, sir. He's inside. Yes, sir. Officers, let's go. Come on. So, you like this one? Oh, yes. You want to buy it for me? Why are you asking like I don't buy you gifts? Yes, baby. That's what Thank you. Thank you. Let's stop being good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, this. Oh, detective. You're welcome. You sounded so urgent over the phone. I hope everything is all right. Well, Mr. Johnson, I really don't think everything is all right. I came very in a bad news. Your daughter was attacked. My daughter? What? what? Bless him. My child attacked. How? What happened to my daughter? Mr. Johnson. I'm sorry to say your daughter was murdered. <gasps> Dad? You see, Mr. Johnson, right here, it's a warrant to arrest the criminals who perpetrated this evil act. But before then, there is something that is not that clear to me that I need to clear out. <sighs> To you, Mr. Johnson, your shirt was found at the scene of the crime with blood stains all over it. So you lied to us that you were at home that very day, whereas you were out drinking with your friends. So you came back that day very late, you went to bed, woke up in the morning and discovered that you had blood stained all over your shirt and you hid the shirt. You hid an evidence that would have helped us nail you for raping your own daughter. A girl who called you father. What kind of a man are you? Detective, no. You're messing things up here. I can't possibly rape my own daughter. And you want us to believe that? Maybe because your wife couldn't bear children. You decided to have it with a younger person. Listen, officer, I will not consent to you insinuating that my husband had something to do with this. What nonsense! Mrs. Johnson, I just don't want to come to you yet. You knew everything that was happening in this house and you pretended. Or perhaps, you did not want to confront your husband. You were afraid because you overheard what he was discussing with your daughter. you're talking about. Mr. Jesse, yes. let me enlighten you a little. Your wife here called us and told us how you were behaving funny because of your missing shirt. She was afraid that you may harm her. So she set a place for us to meet where she told us about your closeness with your daughter. Mrs. Johnson. Yes, um, Detective. Good day. Yeah, good day. Um, like I told you over the phone earlier. Okay. 
I, I think my husband has got something to do with this. He's been acting really, really funny. Most importantly, I think he has something going with my daughter. I mean, our child. your day. Good. Your tummy looks a little bit flat. Have you had something to eat? <laughs> yes, baby, I did. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't look like you've had anything. Anyway, I'll just go in and have a shower. I am tired. Okay. I had a hectic day. I'll join you soon. You're welcome there. What happened to every woman every month? Oh, but if I have anything with any man, I might get pregnant. Um, my angel, look, you see, you shouldn't be talking to me about this. Yes. Mm? It should be your mom. In matters like this, it must be your mom. No, no. My little mom doesn't listen to me. At times I feel she doesn't love me. No, your mom loves you. Don't say that. Even at that, this must be discussed with your mom, not me. Okay? Now go, I'll come and give you the money. Okay. I heard you say whisper. What were you two talking about? Nothing, baby. What do you mean, nothing? I haven't suddenly gone deaf. I heard you two whispering and I stood there for some minutes watching you two.
What is this um, festival of laughter all about? I could actually hear you two from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! Oh my... Get it? Sure. <laughs> honey? Okay. Honey. Honey. Uh, yeah, yes. Are you okay? Um, Mom, we've been calling your name. Are you okay? Of course I am. I'm, I'm fine. The thing is, I, I actually forgot that I was supposed to get something from the market. I just, um, I just remembered. Are you yes. Sure? <laughs> yes. I, I, I do? It's, it's nothing, I... I'm fine. Darling! Well, come here. Come um, tell me how school was today. Tell me what you did in school. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, this... This was how you concluded that I raped my daughter. Our daughter. Rose. Okay, let me ask you. When was the last time you ever bought a gift for her? When was it? It has never happened. Because you, you sucked yourself all your time, all your life into your job. You never had time for our daughter. That is not true and you know it. It's not. You know what? I've given up long ago when I found out that you've been cheating on me. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, now you want to turn the table around. You were the one cheating on me with our maid and our daughter. And you stand here to talk about someone cheating? Don't just go there. Oh, please. Don't go there, Rose. It was your jealousy that drove you to think that. So don't take me to that place. Please, both of you should shut up. You heard him. Shut up. Now listen. I am here to investigate a mother. So none of you is permitted to say anything until he or she is asked to do so. You can argue with each other all day. That is not my business. And that is not the reason I am here. I am here to investigate the mother case. Everyone here has a hand in what happened to Blessing. Mr. Johnson, to your gate, man, I'm still wondering why. You said that you did not see your boss's daughter leave this compound. See, Oga, I told you. I know since mom and dad leave house that day. I did forget throughout, I swear. You see that? Because you left your duty pose. In order for me to be very sure that you had no hand 
in her kidnap. I asked Mr. Sonny here to keep an eye on you. I said it. I said it that you are an idiot. So it was because of your 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 What then happened to my daughter, Dr. Dave? Why don't you ask your wife? What? Ask. You see, when you came to me and complained about your husband, I was wondering why you wanted him out. I was wondering what the motive was. I made a research and I, at a point, I realized that there was a point where Mr. Johnson told me how you almost drove your maid because you thought they were having an affair. That was when the whole thing started adding up. Mr. Johnson, after speaking with your maid, I came to the conclusion that you were innocent of what happened to your daughter. That even your said shirt may have been planted on a crime scene to make it look as if you're guilty. Now I ask Mrs. Johnson, because you know absolutely what happened to your daughter. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, detective or whatever you call yourself. Why are you laying false accusation? What proof do you have that I had something to do with this? Huh? And why are you looking at me like that? Sarah, tell everyone here exactly what you told me. Huh? Several years ago, I came to this house as a maid. I did everything Madame told me. Cleaning the house, cooking and other miniatures in this house. One day, Madame came back and told me to leave the house. Around this house again. Huh. Anytime I see her, oh no, you are fired. Come, come, come. Get your hands off me. Carry your bag. Carry your bag. Madam, I should take her away now. No, come on, put her on top of my head. Oh, oh, oh no. Me. Come on, carry her outside. It's yours. Madam, be happy, be happy, be happy, be happy. Look at the idiot that wants to compete with me. Yeah. Eh? If I see her anywhere around this house, eh? For every one minute she spends here, it's 1,000 naira out of your salary. father that intervened and I remained in this house. One day I went out to buy something without permission. That was when I saw someone in a mask carried nursing into his car.
I was afraid that I couldn't tell anyone. I was sad that I couldn't do much that day. I couldn't help her. If only I had told the police, maybe she would see their life today. I believe you did what you did under the circumstances. And, um, Sarah, you couldn't tell me? I'm sorry, sir. Um, well, Dictative, you see, this whole thing is not making sense to me. I mean, why would a stranger kidnap my daughter? That is it, Mr. Johnson. I was about getting to that. You see, your wife, after suffering long years of bitterness of childlessness, became so jealous of every woman that gives you attention. So she connived with her lover to kidnap your daughter and kill her. But the adopter, along the line, got carried away and raped her. Little did he know that she survived. Mr. Johnson! This one a mother. And <coughs> do you believe the nonsense this detective, this idiot has been sp spitting? Madam, before you start raining insults, I have a proof. And Mr. Johnson, you will be more sure than I am when you find out who the said lover is. What is it? What the hell is wrong with you? How many times have I told you to stop coming here to see me? Someone may see us. See, I made sure nobody saw me coming in. You made sure nobody would? Listen, I don't want you to get me in trouble. Besides, how did you get into the compound without the gate man seeing you? <laughs> that one, he's here, gate man. And you stopped picking my calls. So, I was worried you might have forgotten me. And your little sense did not tell you that we are not supposed to see each other. Now that investigation is going on. You know, that wasn't really my fault. Whose fault? Huh? How would I have known it would get to this? Goodness. And that monster that calls himself my husband is still here. See, that is not even the real problem here. You see, there is every possibility that your daughter might have recognized my voice. What? Jesus, how did that happen? I thought you said you were very careful. I thought so too. It was those rascals I paid to guide the place. You see it. They spoiled things for me. Did you see exactly what I have been talking about? I want you. I told you, I talked about this, I sounded it, but no, you wouldn't listen. Get professionals to do this job. You picked up nuisance, nitwit from the street to come handle this. Now you see it. I hope you have the outcome now and you are happy about it. But let me tell you this. You will handle this yourself. I am not going down with you on this. I paid you huge amounts of money to carry out this job. See, I'm confused though. And the dictative has started hiding information from me. You were confused. My dear, find your senses. Find yourself and know what to do about this. You started this, you are going to finish it. There is no we in this. We need to do something. Else. I said there is no we. Let's get your silly self out of my husband's compound. Out! And make sure nobody sees you as you are. Hold on. Hold on.
Mr. Johnson, I am convinced in my heart that your wife here connived with her lover to kidnap your daughter and kill her. I didn't rape her. The boys I hired you are stupid. Will you show? Will you save that for the judge? This fool that you are cheating on me, on me with this oh, bastard! Shut the hell up and stop sounding like a broken record. Well, if you were man enough, I wouldn't stoop so low as to having anything to do with this young man. But you couldn't do anything as my husband. So I found myself a real man. Deal with it. Just so you know, that miscarriage I had, that pregnancy wasn't for you. It was for him. Well, it's all good. Of course it is. You were so intent with your sexy jealousy that you couldn't notice the blessing was your biological daughter. Point of correction. Adopted. Daughter. Oh no. She was your daughter. I never got to tell you. What? What are you talking about? Blessing the little girl you sent to be killed. It's your real daughter. The child you abandoned by the roadside 16 years ago. Does that ring a bell now? Recently, an anonymous sent a letter to my office and I asked the doctor to carry out a DNA. Oh my God. I was the one that sent that letter to your office, sir. I wanted to tell you, madam, I recognize you from the day I came to work for you. I was surprised you adopted the same child I always stayed at the orphanage. What? So I followed you to know where you were living. And you needed a maid and I applied. This one was like a daughter to me. Since the day I found her abandoned. Did you What is going on? destroyed the life of my own child. I, I destroyed the life of my child because of the, the mistakes I made. That is going to make you forgive me. But please, hear my own side. Life wasn't all rosy for me. After my parents died, I couldn't feed. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even eat. And then I was happy when my aunt 
came to take me to the city. I thought life would have been better for me. <laughs> Until my aunt's husband started raping me. She threw me out of the house when she found out that I was pregnant. She didn't even believe that her husband did such a thing. I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have food to eat. I couldn't take care of you. I couldn't do anything. That was the day I... I decided to drop you by the roadside. <laughs> Planting your shirts at the place where, where everything happened. I wasn't a happy soul. I have been sad all my life. I'm sorry. But before I go, I I, I would want to know how my daughter was saved. Mm -hmm. You want to know how you felt? God will not allow you to kill her. But when you sent this idiot to go and kill her, he would have succeeded if not for the intervention of a nurse who he killed. The doctor informed Detective Dalego here, and I was called in. 
I told them to keep it between us. Even my son did not know about it. Okay, I'm not going to Miss Johnson, thank you. Detective, sir, you both are under arrest and you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Move. Move. Not one only egg, my friend. Move. Mother. Please. Please. Please, mother. No, no, no. Ah. Go. Leave your crop right here and go. Ah, master, please go. You don't want to have a.